Welcome again. My name is Manal Zainuddin, the founder of Orbit's Development Code, a transdisciplinary approach for conscious learning and being. If you are new to my content, I have been in the field of education for 21 years as a teacher and a director, and now as a global education consultant. I speak about education from macro and micro angles, education that is never limited to schooling and schoolwork, education that is never separate from the real and personal and professional world. And most importantly, that is never separate from us conscious beings. So welcome again. This video is related to the Acts of Kind Attention series that I send every month in my newsletter. And this one in particular is related to the 9th of August, International Day of the World's Indigenous Peoples. Indigenous people are also referred to first people and sometimes native people, although there are slight differences between the two terms. Indigenous people are mainly people whose social, cultural, and economic conditions distinguish them from other sections of the national community and who have their own customs, traditions, and their own sets of uh, regulations and laws. Amnesty International, a global movement that addresses injustice, concretely writes about indigenous people. And I quote, indigenous peoples have a special relationship with the land on which they have lived for generations, sometimes for tens of thousands of years. They possess crucial knowledge about how to manage natural resources sustainably and act as guardians and custodians of the land for the next generation. Losing their land means a loss of identity." End quote. So how is this related to education and consulting? Like I always say, when we speak about conscious learning, and in my case, conscious consulting, I cannot disregard such important community matters. We cannot be educators and parents without paying attention to every aspect in our community because we are helping children grow older in knowledge and awareness. Indigenous people have rights and we cannot keep disregarding them. Second, indigenous people represent traditional knowledge of natural resources, including human resources and hidden potential if we allow this knowledge to be dissipated, then we are relinquishing invaluable foundations for biodiversity. That's why United Nations Declarations on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples UNDRIP, was issued in 2007 as an acknowledgement for Indigenous people and their significance in the sustainability of humanity and the planet. But this is not enough. We have to, uh, we have to put our hands together with all those organizations to support. This year's theme of um, indigenous people is mainly related to the call for a new social contract. So let's consider that from Orbit's perspective. First, we speak about owning our way. There have been ongoing calls to support indigenous people, but in November 2020, those plans were revitalized to build a resilient, sustainable, and inclusive uh, future for those people. So the call initiated by the United Nations expressed its support to member states in the realization of the indigenous people's rights and well-being. Now, indigenous people traditional knowledge and genuine care to the environment is enough to uh, consider them environment protect protectors. Uh, International Union for Conservation of Nature, the ICCN, states it beautifully in a discussion session in 2019. And I quote, this is an urgent issue to address. Our brothers and sisters are giving up their lives to protect the planet. We need to make sure that they are protected, end quote. So as educators and parents, we are part of the civil society. We can step in and do our part. For example, one of the things that we can do, and this is so important, is to reduce our consumption. Let us look into our lives and reflect on our purchases. Following the trendy in 
clothing, digital devices, uh, renewing furniture, and many other gadgets. Online stores have, have even increased purchases. And with COVID-19 and during the lockdown, these purchases even increased to fulfill those boredom moments and anxiety. The more we demand items, the more raw material will be needed. And most of this raw material uh, is brought from indigenous territories. Another point to consider is reading labels on our products. We can search for those products and buy the products that include uh, the statement, for example, environment friendly items, and even better, trying to buy organic products. Raising our standards. A uh, 2017 German study about timber uh, plantation showed how the loss of plants will affect animals and humans. According to the study, 50 liters are needed for every kilogram of fresh fiber paper, while only 15 liters are needed for every kilogram of recycled paper. And five kilowatts of energy are needed for every kilogram of fresh fiber paper, while only two liters are needed for every kilogram of recycled paper. And the third one is 2.2 kilograms of wood used to gain one kilogram of cellulose, while only half kilograms is needed to, for, for waste paper. We need to understand how the world works and how the items have been manufactured so that we know that these have been manufactured not without loss of homes and habitats. So there is a sacrifice in a way or another. As educators and parents, we can be aware about certain practices. In this same report, deforestation or cutting down trees has increased to produce more palm oil. Palm oil is enormously used in many industries, including food and biodiesel. When we go to the supermarkets, we will find a, a huge number of items that include palm oil. Again, we speak about less consumption. So learning about better consumption. Union of Concerned Scientists explained that during palm oil production, process, so much CO2 is emitted into the atmosphere, just as much as what would come out of burning 370 liters of mineral oil. Another point to consider is communications. We can start communications at a local level, then at a global level. We can take part in projects, in campaigns, so that we reach policymakers. We can, we can make our voices heard. And another point is reflecting on certain concepts that we discuss in learning communities. For example, when we teach about Christopher Columbus's arrival at the, at the new land, is it seen as victory? Isn't it also the beginning of exploitation, suppression of those indigenous people in America? Believing in our assets. Now, more than half of the Amazon area is contained within a network of 2,954 indigenous territories and protected natural areas spanning nine nations. These approximately 4.1 square kilometers provide great environmental and social benefits, including climate stabilization through forest carbon sequestration. This is what is shown in a report about carbon management, how we can uh, manage the carbon dioxide emitted. Now, the question here is, with all these benefits, can we avoid more losses? Yes, we can. So at least as educators and parents, we can drive awareness to low carbon economies and forest values. We can also donate to organizations that support uh, indigenous territories. We can also become or support entrepreneurs and uh, those new business models, integrating our minds and positive emotion. A report was just released by Amnesty International a case studying Nepal under the title Nepal Violations in the Name of Conservation. And I will share it in the references below. Nepal that has been progressing in the field of conservation, unfortunately has done that at the expense of forest dependent indigenous people. And those these people who have been living on that land for decades were evicted, arrested, beaten, even tortured and killed to comply by the government's convention to land conservation. Now, as educators and parents, 
Such cases are moral lessons to discuss in classes or in uh, parents' children's discussions. For example, we can discuss questions like, what are we seeking? Are we seeking global or external validation and glorification while uh, in hidden scenarios, violations are being made? So this, is, this, this can make a, an important moral lesson. Another point is that there is a law of cause and effect in the universe. Those violations were eventually discovered and now the entire world has access to this report. It is significant that our children understand that nothing bad remains hidden. Just like that uh, Nepal success story as stated in the report, success cannot continue to be success if abuse or violations of people's rights occur. And another interesting point to mention under integrating uh, our minds and positive emotion is the book by the renowned Greg Braden, The Wisdom Code, in which he shares fascinating techniques that indigenous people use. For example, when making decisions, there is a special way they place their hand on their heart's area. And this wisdom cannot be known only by traditional researches that we are familiar with. Indigenous people possess unique knowledge as they rely on their intuition and start operating from within, tailoring to our needs and aspirations. Amnesty International shares the following facts. 370 million indigenous people across more than 90 countries belonging to more than 5,000 different indigenous people and speaking more than 4,000 languages. Indigenous people represent about 5% of the world's population. Now this percentage is significant. If we truly want to maintain a sustainable, inclusive world, we have to tailor to our needs and aspirations. So as educators and parents, we can learn more about environmental innovation. Now, many schools still do not allocate sessions and projects to environmental sciences. As a director in the past eight years, I have given great attention uh, to environmental science, science, just like biology, chemistry, and physics. The theme of env environmental innovation has been growing rapidly in the past years. McGill University, for example, offers a, a program to, uh, to graduate more natural resource consultants and managers and even uh, policymakers. Now, such pro programs should be available in most universities and high schools. So we start building background. Also, as educators and parents, we can get more involved in environmental development because when we understand uh, environmental development, we will eventually understand the significance of indigenous people. Parents can spur curiosity during family talks that involve environmental development. We do that in my family. Um, even now in the summer vacation, I share simple articles with my uh, children of uh, late childhood, early adolescent about such themes. And as a daily activity, they read those articles and we discuss them. Now the knowledge that, uh, that they form through such a stress-free learning mode is so fruitful. And that's how we build background and we have time now. Spotting and solving our, pro our problems practically. Now as educators and parents, we can encourage children and adolescents to understand biodiversity and inclusion and think using nature-based solutions. Uh, for example, to be more effective, we can also start exploring indigenous solutions and how indigenous people practice their cultures and habits to maintain healthy lives, respecting land and property, adhering to the heritage of their ancestors. For example, an amazing way of, uh, of agriculture, and I will include a link below so you can check how we can find practical solutions for our uh, agriculture. Learning also about interesting apps, the indigenous navigator uh, application assists in monitoring the level of recognition and implementation of indigenous people rights. It divides attention to 13 themes, general human rights and fundamental freedoms, cultural integrity, land territories and natural resources, fundamental rights and freedoms, participation in public affairs, legal protection, access to justice and remedy, cross-border contact, freedom of expression and media, general economic and social development, education, health, 
employment and occupation, and self-determination. As this video comes to an end, it is important to mention COVID effects on the indigenous people and their vulnerabilities. We all need to join efforts to help locally and globally. This is not just any subject. This is a subject to discuss in schools and at home, acknowledging the rights and protecting the indigenous people all around the world. Subscribe to view more from this series, Let's Nurture Conscious Learning and Being.